Queen Isabella I of Castile is one of the best-known Spanish monarchs. Wherever you like her, or you hate some of her political decisions, you have to admit she was competent female monarch. But how did she look like? Well, she had notably short forehead, short neck, very narrow nose, but the debate is really about what colouring she had. What colour of eyes and hair and what shade of skin? Some people stubbornly insist her looks match what they imagine all Spanish people look like. That is darker skin, dark hair. Like this statue of Isabella. But this couldn't be any further from Isabella's true colouring. In period illuminations Isabella is depicted with strawberry blonde hair and fair skin. Which matches period descriptions of her. Isabella was most often described as having golden hair and occasionally as having red golden hair. Nowadays, this is often thought to mean blonde or auburn hair. But that is wrong interpretation in both cases. In those days, golden usually referred to golden shades of strawberry blonde. And red golden could also mean strawberry blonde. Unfortunately, most of Queen Isabella's depictions are darkened. Darkening of pigments is very common issue in historical paintings, can turn even lightest hair to brown or black. And sometimes skin is affected also, but in her case only upon the statue. But there it could have been also aided by centuries of smoke from candles, because it is inside of Capilla Real of Granada. Some might try to argue Isabella's hair was red, based upon these three depictions. But there is bit of a problem with these as evidence. Virgin of Mercy with Catholic monarchs and their family is fabulous painting by Diego de la Cruz. No doubt about it. Unfortunately, you can only find HD close-up of it before it was cleaned and alterations removed. The difference is huge, but immediately one thing should strike you as odd, and it isn't Isabella. It's hair of King Ferdinand. We have plenty of period descriptions of him. And they all say he had brown hair. Comparing it to light chestnut. Clearly Ferdinand's hair is way off to what it is supposed to be, so how can we trust rest of family to have accurate hair color? Either painter never met these people, or something went off with the pigments. While pigments going brown is most usual, they can also turn red sometimes. And in this case, we can see that illumination on left has strong pink hue, which it shouldn't have. That causes hair to appear more red than they are to be. Lastly we have portrait of Isabella done towards very end of her life. When her health already got worse, her nose got larger, her lower lip also. And she dressed more warmly. But despite it not being Isabella in her prime, it's the sole known portrait of her where her hair is not darkened. This exact shade of hair is right where you can't tell if it is more light red or if it is darker shade of strawberry blonde. And I think it's possible that at end of Isabella's life her hair was between strawberry blonde and light red. Nevertheless, I doubt it was case when she was young. Because Isabella was sometimes described as having the most golden hair, and that makes me believe that it possibly matched the hair of some of her descendants that it was in fact darker shade of golden strawberry blonde. No dim or light color, but vivid literally gold-like shade of strawberry blonde. Striking to look at. Truly most golden, but not blonde. Unfortunately most portraits even when undarkened don't give it justice. For example if we compare these two, the hair is not very different, the shade on right is just slightly off, bit too much towards golden brown. Now, finally regarding the eye color. I know only of four paintings where we can see her eyes well enough. In them her eyes are either pale gray with tint of blue or green or both, or blue-green. So possibly her eyes were gray-blue-green. However grayness of eyes is sometimes due to cheaper pigments being used, and can also occur if photos of painting are not the best quality. So I went and checked for better photos. I can't show you, but if you were to check this painting on webpage of Museo del Prado, 
It is in much better quality than the one available in public domain, and the eyes are less into grey and more into blue. With slight green tint in one eye. And given Isabella's father King John II of Castile reportedly had blue-green eyes, I am inclined to say Isabella's eyes likely were same. So to summarize, Queen Isabella most likely had fair or light white skin. Strawberry blonde hair, likely towards golden shades, but possibly towards light red towards end of life. And eyes either blue-green, or less likely, grey-blue-green. So I hope now you know how mum of Catherine of Aragon looked like and we can stop with that nonsense of Catherine supposedly having auburn hair like her mother, when Isabella herself never had auburn hair. Thank you for watching and for more videos like this, subscribe.